ये आली मदद काम रहता है तमाम साथियों को ये आली मदद इसमिल्लाम या मौलाए मेहरबान या मौलाए मेहरबान तोफीक ताहिद हिम्मत व यारी या मौला तोफीक ताहिद हिम्मत व यारी या मौला आज हम एक बार फिर तेरे हजूर में जमा हुए हैं मौला तेरे फरामीन को पढ़ने के लिए तेरे फरमान को सुनने के लिए तेरे फरामीन को समझने के लिए या मौला मेहरबान हमारी मदद फरमा हमें तोफीक ताहिद हिम्मत व यारी इनायत फरमा कि हम ये काम कर सके या मौला तेरी मदद के बगैर हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते हैं मौला या मौलाए मेहरबान मदद फरमा अलहकयूम अली अल्लाह मदद फरमा दोस्तों आज हम वी विल स्टार्ट विद फरमान नंबर 125 फ्रॉम दिस टेन रोहानी फरमान इन द उर्दू बुक इट इज पेज नंबर 40 द फरमान इज नेरोबी अक्टूबर 6 1905 Please recite the holy salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Ak Maulana Dhani Salamat Farm Datar Sarkar Aka Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah ne farmaya. Insan jab tak is dunya me hai, tab tak school me zare taalim. तालब इम की मानद है दी उर्दू वर्ड तालब इम तालब नीडी को कहते हैं तालब इम नीडी ऑफ नॉलेज This is a beautiful word in Urdu dictionary. Talib ilm, one who needs knowledge. In English, when we say student, it does not do justification to the original word of talib ilm. Mola says, not only that he goes to school for his entire life, <clears throat> but he is a student, or he is like a student, or he is like a talib ilm. Those who think or those who have said that i have read all the ginans all the farman and i know everything as i have read all the farameen i have heard all the farameen just by saying that i have done that 
what we are saying we are no longer talib ilm जब हम कहते हैं कि ये सारे फरमान हमने पढ़ लिए हैं सुन लिए हैं और समझ लिए हैं तो इसके बाद ये वर्ड तालब इल्म का इदराक उन पर नहीं होता है द रीजन आई एम एम्फिसाइजिंग ऑन दिस वर्ड तालब इल्म बिकॉज वेन वन से आई ऑलरेडी नो I have read I have understood then this word does not apply to that person anymore because talib ilm literally means needy of the knowledge there is a great understanding in the sufi tariqa and even in our recent faramin of betul khayal molawa has emphasized that you need to be humble need to be humble because the word humble is telling us that we don't have anything and we are needy of something the same word our dais and peers yes अल्फाज हमारे दाइयों और पीरों ने भी यूज किया हमारी रूह के लिए फॉर आवर सोल और हमारी अक्ल के लिए फॉर आवर इंटरनेट और वो अल्फाज है अकल गरीजी अकल गरीजी द इंटरनेट देर इज नीडी इंटरलेक्ट नीडी वो अकल जिसको जरूरत है अकल गरीजी और इमाम की अकल इमाम की इंटरलेक्ट अकल कुली है कंप्लीट यूनिवर्सल इंटरलेक्ट is the intellect of the imam or hamari aqal aqle garizi needy intellect so remember these two words talib e ilm or aqle garizi aur ruh ke liye farmaya ruh e sifli aur imam ki ruh ke liye ruh e ulvi for us our dais and peers have said for our soul ruh sifli the lower soul or lower eye aur imam ki ruh ke liye farmaya ruh ala ruh ulvi the higher soul and from the higher soul comes the rain the blessing the barakat of all things on ruh sifli on the lower soul which is our soul so we are talib e ilm the needy of knowledge ruh sifli the lower soul that requires the rain from the top and aqle garizi the needy of the intellect that those are 
terms used for us, poor and nobody, by our Hujatan, dies and peers. So, if we understand this part, then reading this Farman will help us a great deal and we will be able to comprehend कि मौला क्यों हमें जिंदगी भर तालबे इल्म होने का फरमा रहे हैं। The reason for Imam to call us the student of the lifetime. So if we understand these three things, it will help us understand this फरमान। So let me read couple of paragraph now. So we see why Imam is calling us a student of the lifetime. Insan jab tak is dunya mein hai, tab tak school mein zair taaleem, taalebe ilm ki manind hai. School mein padne wale bache hamesha apni taaleem rakhte hain. The student of the school continues their education, and we are this. We are not talking about the children in school. This is us, the Jamaat, who is talib ilm for rest of our life, or for our entire life. Or in school, me, jo kuch sikhaya jata hai, uski talim lete hain. Now, this is a beautiful point. If you are talib ilm, the student then you learn whatever is been taught to you. Because you are a student and you are here to learn. And Mullah says, the student, when they go to school, now we are not talking about the school as per se, بلکہ یہ تو زندگی بھر کی سکول کی بات ہو رہی ہے. So when they go to learn, they learn what has been taught to them. Isi tarah insan jab tak is dunya mein ji raha hai, us waqt tak sikhte sikhte hoshiyar, kabil, alim aur himmat, bahimmat banta hai. Hoshiyar, akil, alim aur Bahimat banta hai. So let's look at some of these words. If you continue to learn, continue to learn for entire life, you will become hoshiyar, smart, akil, intellectual, alim, teacher, and Bahimad, courageous. Mullah say, if you continue to learn, then you will become, and you will have this four attribution. You will become smart, you will become intellectual, you will become teacher, and you will become courageous. Those are the attribution of those who are the student for the lifetime. They continue to learn, they continue to become smarter and smarter, and they will have courage to learn more and more and then more. There is again one thing. Yahan par ek aur baat ko samajhne aur yaad rakhne ki zarurat hai. That until we do not say that we need to learn 
then our paper of our heart is filled and there is no more room to write and to learn. When do we erase and make room for more learning? When we are humble. जब हम कहते हैं आजीदी के साथ कि हमें कुछ नहीं आता हमें सिखाओ तो हम अपने दिल के अंदर जगह बनाते हैं we make room for new and better and advanced knowledge what is new better and advanced knowledge the true knowledge which can help us with our soul and our end of the time kyunki ye cheeze hame aakhirat ke liye taiyar karti hai dekhe mola kya farmate hain aage jo ladka bachpan se kaili karke apna sabak achhi tarah yaad nahi karta wo imtihan mein kamyab nahi hota और गधे की मानंद रह जाता है इंसान हमेशा तालीम लेता रहे तो मरने के बाद आखरत के इम्तिहान में कामयाब हो कंटिन्यू टू लर्न विल बी रेडी फॉर द टेस्ट एट द एंड ऑफ द टाइम क्योंकि ये इल्म जो है वो हो सकता है कि आज आपको उसकी कोई अहमियत या वैल्यू ना लगती हो बट इट विल बिकम वेरी हैंडी हमारे आखरत के लिए ये बहुत ही काम आने वाली चीज है इल्म है दुनिया में कौन कौन से असबाक सीखने चाहिए पहला सबक तो पाकिजगी का सबक है यानी तमाम मामलात में पाक और साफ होना अगर इस पाकिजगी के दरस को दुनिया में अच्छी तरह याद किया होगा तो इन मरने के बाद जब तुम्हारा इम्तिहान लिया जाएगा तो उस वक्त कामयाब हो गए दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पैराग्राफ इमाम विच लेसन शुड यू बी लर्निंग एन इमाम से वेरी फर्स्ट वन इनिशियल सब्जेक्ट शुड बी दब्जेक्ट ऑफ प्योरिफिकेशन further imam says not only that you must learn the subject the topic of purification because if you have learned this if you have learned how to purify yourself in this world it will become handy at the end of the time wo akhirat mein aapko kaam aayega and it will help you with the test at the end because the test is of the purification kis cheez ka imtihan hai pakis ki ka imtihan hai let me give an example of pakis ki what is purification if our hands are dirty or if our body is dirty what do we use to clean water water is a source for cleanliness of our physical body just like that the pure water the pure knowledge जिस तरह से जिसम को साफ करने के लिए पानी की जरूरत पड़ती है इसी तरह से 
ہمارے باطین کو ہماری پاکیزگی کے لیے علم کے پانی کی ضرورت پڑتی ہے ان ورڈ آئی یوز ہیئر از دی پیور نالج ٹو کلینس یور باتین یو نیڈ پیور واٹر پیور نالج ڈو وی واش آور ہینڈ اور آور باڈی وتھ ڈڈی واٹر نو رائٹ وی یوز کلین واٹر ٹو کلینس آور سیلف فزیکلی جسٹ لائک دیٹ always take and use the pure true ilm which is an example of the water clean water clean and pure knowledge of the imam will cleanse your body I hope you will remember this very important point that we do not use dirty water to wash our hand or clean our body. Just like that, to clean your soul, your bathin, and your mind, your concepts, your intellect, we must use and seek the true knowledge of the Imam because that is what we will need at the end of the time to pass the test at the end. I'm sure someone is thinking of a question because this one says that you must do this in this world. Marne ke baad akhrat ke imtiyan mein kamyab honne ke liye char azbaak hai. And Mola further explains that what are those tests at the end of the time for which we need to prepare ourselves and we must purify ourselves So we may pass with flying numbers at the end. We have to purify in the life of life. We have to purify in the life of life. And here we have to purify in the life of life. But the soul and the soul. That is that our ایمان ہے اور ہمارا جو کانسیپٹس ہے عقیدہ ہے تو دوز ہوز رائٹنگ اٹ ڈاؤن آور فیتھ بلیو اینڈ آور کانسیپٹ عقیدہ یہ دونوں پیور ہونا چاہیے دونوں پیور ہونا چاہیے Because let's say we have a faith, ہمارے پاس ایمان تو ہے لیکن اگر ہمارا عقیدہ غلط ہے if our, our concepts are not correct, even with a full belief, how will we move forward? Or vice versa, we have a pure concept, But our Iman is not firm. So what do we need? Firm belief, Mazboot Iman, or correct concepts. Sacha or Hakiki Akida. Dono ki zarurat hai. Dekhe Mola kya farmate hai? Okay, you need four things which will help you at the end. Those subjects are Tumara Iman Paak Hona Chahiye. Do you see that? 
your faith must be pure. Your belief must be pure. आपका जो ईमान है इमाम के ऊपर वो पक्का और सच्चा होना चाहिए आपका ईमान किस तरह से इमाम के ऊपर पक्का और सच्चा होगा जब आप इमाम को पहचानते हो गए वेन यू हैव द रिकनाइजेशन ऑफ इमाम देन योर फेथ on the imam and our tariqa will be firm kyunki jab tak aapka imam aapke imam ko samjhe bigar ho gaya if we don't recognize the true imam as the noor e ilahi if we see the imam as a body that is not true faith the true faith comes with when we see the imam as the noor e ilahi the embodied noor noor e mujassam jab hum us tarah se imam ko pehchanenge then our faith will be firm hamara iman mazboot bhi hoga aur paak bhi hoga purified bhi hoga नंबर टू मोला से तुम्हारे आमाल पाक होने चाहिए देन योर डीट्स मस्ट बी प्योर योर डीट्स मस्ट बी प्योर नाउ दिस इज अ हार्ड वन टू अंडरस्टैंड हमारे आमाल पाक होने चाहिए उसको समझना थोड़ा मुश्किल है क्यों विच आमाल which deeds which actions are we talking about because there are so many different kind of actions the worldly deeds and then there is religious action lekin jab imam ne kaha ki tumhare aamal the total deeds and total actions must be pure yani ke dande ke andar bhi apni zindagi ke andar bhi roz mara ke kamon ke andar bhi in your business in your daily life in your every day actions from the time you wake up till the time you sleep subah se lekar shaam tak jo bhi kaam aap karte hain chahe wo deen ka ho chahe wo duniya ka ho the smallest deed smallest action that we take on daily basis must be pure and i can give you some example that hopefully will jolt your mind ki kis tarah se humko careful rehna hai so i'll give you one example from the western countries and one example from the eastern countries from the western country where we have to drive to go to work drive to go to grocery stores and drive to go to jamaat khana what does driving has to do with our daily good deeds even during the driving you know how someone cuts you off or how someone comes in front of you or how someone doesn't give you right away our mind instantly starts to criticize them it starts to call them with some names that shows that our thoughts even though we are not cussing at them or in anything but our thoughts are wandering 
and are not pure toward our fellow human beings. And I will tell you how to purify those also. I cannot tell you what is wrong and not tell you how to fix it. मैं अभी आता हूं अपने ईस्टर्न कंट्री की तरफ भी पहले वेस्टर्न कंट्री का जो एक बहुत बड़ा मसला है उसको रिजोल्व करते हैं सो आई एम गोइंग स्पीक इन इंग्लिश फॉर अ वाइल एंड फिर इसके बाद उर्दू में हमारे ईस्टर्न कंट्रीज के मसाइल के बारे में बात करेंगे डू वी ऑल डू दैट स्पेशली वेन वी आर ड्राइविंग and when someone cuts us off or doesn't give us right away doesn't move fast enough and we all do that how do we fix that easy purify your thoughts instead of saying how come this person is not moving we say how nice of this person is look at how careful he is driving when someone cuts us off instead of saying why did he cut me off how about we say bechara poor guy he must be in hurry i hope he makes it to his destination sound and safe he must have some urgent business to take care of he is driving so rough me mola be with him how about we pray for him and those prayer will return back to you when somebody doesn't move how about instead of saying what's wrong with this man is he sleeping on the on the wheel we say oh he is taking his time to ensure that there's nobody on the road and he is a safe driver do we see that how a smallest thing we can do to purify ourselves and this will help you spiritually and intellectually because now you are not worry about others but you are worry about your soul look at how small of deed this is but it will help you in a long way so let's come to eastern countries issues ab hamare eastern countries ke jo masail hai uske andar hum kis tarah se apne aap ko rozmarra ke aamal ke andar purification laate hain hamare gharon ke andar maasi aati hai हमारे घरों के अंदर डिलीवरी आती है हम बाजार में जाते हैं और समटाइम हम इरिटेटेड हो जाते हैं लोगों से झगड़ते लड़ते हैं छोटी छोटी बातों में जिसका कोई भी ज्यादा वजन नहीं होता है और उसकी जरूरत भी नहीं होती है अगर कोई हमको धक्का देता है या कोई हमारे से आगे निकल जाता है तो ये कहने से ज्यादा बेहतर है कि वो क्यों मुझे धक्का दिया अगर हम इस तरह से कहें कि शायद बेचारा जल्दी में होगा मोला उसको हिम्मत देवे और मोला उसके साथ रहे और उसके लिए कुछ दुआएं कर दे क्योंकि यही दुआ लौटकर आपकी तरफ आने वाली है जब आपके लिए कोई बुरा करे आप उसके लिए दुआ करें जब आपको कोई तकलीफ पहुंचाए आप उसके लिए दुआ करें और इस तरह से हम आस्ते आस्ते अपने अमाल को बेहतर बनाते जाएंगे रोजमर्रा के अमाल को क्योंकि जब तक हम जिंदा हैं, लोग हमको तकलीफ पहुंचाएंगे जाने और अनजाने में जरूरी नहीं है कि हर आदमी आपको इंटेंशनली तकलीफ पहुंचाता हो अनजाने में भी हो जाता है आप अगर 
उसको माफ करेंगे तो मौला आपके ऊपर खुश होकर आपके गुना भी माफ करेगा एंड दिस हाउ यू विल प्योरीफाई योर डेली एक्शन योर डेली डीड्स एंड दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल ये सिर्फ एक एग्जाम्पल है इससे बहुत सारे अमाल है डीड्स है एक्शन है ऑन विच वी नीड टू पे अटेंशन आवर सूफी ब्रदर्स दे विल मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ देर डेली डीड्स एंड चेक ऑफ के चेक करते थे कि क्या मैंने ये अमाल सही किया या गलत किया दे विल चेक एंड मेक श्योर दे दे आर करेक्टिंग their daily actions and deeds they would have a checklist to do that the second was tumhare amal sorry the third was tumhari aankhe paak honi chahiye your eyes must be purified and clean how do we purify our eyes नॉर्मली पीपल थिंक दे गेरों की तरफ नजर नहीं करनी यानी कि गैर औरत गैर मर्द की तरफ नजर नहीं करनी बट देर इज मोर टू देर देन दिस देर इज मोर टू इट कोई क्या करता है उसकी फिक्र आप मत करें वो अदर्स डू do not worry about it that is purifying your eyes this where the gossiping and ill thoughts comes into mind when we look at others oh look at she is doing this oh look at he is doing that keep your eyes to yourself do not worry about others on all matters at work at home in jamaat khana in general in general practice should be worry about yourself keep your eyes to yourself dusron ki fikr mat kare just like we cannot look at other people's things keep away from other people's money just like that we need to keep things to ourselves and not worry about what other people doing is an example of keeping your eyes pure so when we see others and if we see a shortcoming a flaw in other जब हम दूसरों के अंदर कोई खराबी देखें तो आपके पास दो चॉइस हैं या तो आप उसको क्रिटिसाइज करें या आप उसको गलत साबित करने की कोशिश करें या आप उसको बुरा भला कहें या आप उसके लिए दुआ करें यू कैन डू एनी ऑफ दो थिंग्स और यू कैन प्रे फॉर देम you don't have to criticize them you do not have to think bad of them you do not have to curse at them but you can pray for them that is the purification of eyes number 4 mola says tumhare haath paak hone chahiye now what does it mean our hands haathon se jo kaam hote hain aapke aapke haath nahi is not you physically your hand but the work you do with your hand meaning your deeds your amal your daily practices whatever you do in your lifetime in your daily life needs to be pure think before you do it हाथ की पाकिजगी इज अमेजिंग बिकॉज दिस दिस आर दी हैंड्स 
if they are purified then you can touch the highest rohaniyat if your hands are purified you will be able to do things which others cannot do we are not talking about physical palm or physical hand but your daily deeds actions must be purified before we do anything we should ask ourselves would this make my imam happy koi bhi kaam karne se pehle aap apne aap se puche ki kya mola mere is kaam se khush hoga will this make my imam happy that would be a great question to ask ourselves further imam says ab iman is tarah paak hona chahiye ki tumhara ruh aur aqal is se paak ho tab tumhara iman paak wa kelaya so second category is that you purify your soul and your intellect with pure love pure love in your belief aapke iman paak hona chahiye ishq ke sath aapki ruh aur aqal ishq ke sath aur aapka iman paak hona chahiye we do not love imam we do not do ibadat bandagi out of fear or out of greed kya matlab hum jannat ke lalach mein aur dozak ke dar se ibadat bandagi nahi karte hain balki hum ishq mein imam ke ishq mein ibadat bandagi karte hain we do not do ibadat bandagi out of fear of hell nor at the greed of the heaven but with the love of the imam with that purified and pure belief in imam if you do that mola says if you keep your love and if you purify your soul and intellect with the love then mola say you can say your faith is purified aapka iman paak wa kelaenga agar iman paak ho to yu samjha jaye ki tum pehle sabak mein kamyab ho gaye if your faith is purified you believe is purified then you can say you have passed subject lesson number 1 iman ki buniyad ishq par ho iman ki buniyad the foundation of your faith must be on love not on fear or greed but on the love the love for the imam and love for the follow human beings follow jamaat follow brother sister the fellow brother and sister agar ishq mukammal ho to iman ruh ke sath ek ho jata hai if your faith is pure mola says then your soul and your faith will be one meaning not only your belief is pure but your soul will be pure as well i 
I think we should stop here. Let me read one more paragraph. Number two, Mola says, Paak amal se kya murad hai? What does it mean, the purified actions? Aur wo kis tarah paak rahe hai? And how do you keep it purified? Amal paak rakhne ke liye hamesha yadgiri rakhni chahiye. To purify your deeds, you must constantly stay in remembrance. Because while you're remembering Mola, you will not be able to do bad deeds. Ye yadgiri rakhne ka kaam bhoot kathan hai. Mola said, I understand it is hard to stay in remembrance continuously. Why? Mola says, kyunke shaitan insaan ko hamesha fareb deta hai. Because the sudden constantly whisper, that's why it is hard to stay in remembrance. Shaitan din raat tumhare paas tiyari betha hai. Sirf hakiki momini uske fareb se bachta hai. The Satan is ready sitting near you to whisper. But only a momin can save himself from the whisper of the Satan. Khali ek momini ek shaitan ke vaswaso se bachta genga. Aur uska kya tarika hai? How does momin do that? Constant remembrance of Mola. What did Mola say in Golden Jubilee? Mola said, if you have five seconds, if you have a ten second, if you have a minute or five minutes, remember Allah, remember Muhammad, remember Ali, remember any of the Imams. Constant remembrance. Sutta, Betta, Jagta, Ra Chalanta, Sahib Ji no Naam Li Chie. Constantly remember regardless of what position you are in. And that will keep the Satan and his whisper or uske vaswaso se humko dur rakhenga. Inshallah, amare mola hum par bhot rehman और रहीम है मौला के खाना वदान और दुआशीष हमारे साथ है मौला हम पर बहुत ही खुश है इंशाल्लाह हम अपने आमाल को पाकिजा करते हुए आखरत की तैयारी करेंगे ताके उस दिन हमारा सफर आसानी से आसानी से कट जाए इंशाल्लाह आमीन या रबिल आलमीन हमारे पास कुछ सवाल के लिए ताकि कोई भी कंफ्यूजन हो क्वेश्चन हो तो हम पूछ सके या अली मदद थैंक यू सर सर एट दिस टाइम आई डू नॉट सी क्वेश्चन इन द चैट रूम सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज ऑन यूट्यूब डिवाइस या अली मदद आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन जी या अली मदद So, sir, um, like when you said about keeping your eyes uh, pure, so I understand what is what you were trying to tell us. So, if we're trying to, if there's a youth who might have issues, um, uh, social issues, you know, not following certain mustaqim path or right path and doing right choices, then are we okay to let the family members know about? So the youth can be, you know, consulted and and talked to by the family members. Yes, definitely. बिकॉज दी तरबियत जो होती है बच्चों की द गाइडेंस ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन एंड इवन गाइडेंस ऑफ द फैमिली मेम्बर्स दैट इज डिफरेंट जब हम कहते हैं कि हमारी आंखों की पाकिजगी हम जो दूसरों के मामला के अंदर टांग अड़ाते हैं ना एंड अननेसेसरी वी लुक हेयर एंड वी लुक देयर जस्ट टू फाइंड द फ्लो इन द पीपल कि उसके अंदर क्या खराबी है उसके कपड़े कितने खराब है या उसने कितने फैशन वाले कपड़े पहने हैं यू नो दो काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स बट हेल्पिंग द चिल्ड्रन एंड हेल्पिंग द फैमिली मेंबर 
For example, if we see someone who needs some help, what do we do? We pay attention and we help them, right? So we are talking about two different things. But keep our nose and our mind and our eyes away and further from unnecessary looking for flow. Kharabi logo ke andar usko criticize karne ke liye hum intezar karte hain ke kab wo galti kare hain to hum usko criticize kare hain. Sometime in front of them and sometime behind them. Wo paakiz ki hai aankhon ki. Very good question. Thank you. So I have one question in the chat. Okay, so the friend is asking, why are two kids in the same family different? One kid is very decent and sober, but at the same time, the other kid is rude and doesn't listen. Is it the karma? Both kids receive the same environment and same love, but why are both different? Are we saying that our intellect is from our previous re reincarnation? If there is a no reincarnation, why are both kids different since childhood? I believe this question has been raised so many times because we just cannot come out of the karma and the reincarnation concept. We are having a hard time coming out of it. I am going to give you two examples and I believe I have given this example before. Mola himself has said and this is example Imam has used himself. Look at your hand. Are your five fingers same? Kya aapki paanch ungliya barabar barabar hai? Aren't this your own hand, one single hand, made out, out of same blood? Then why these five fingers are different? Kya ye sab barabar barabar equally ma ke khun se Khudavan Tala ne nahi banai? Why didn't he not make these five fingers same? Five fingers are not same, my brother. This is the example Imam have used. Second, free will. Free will. No human are same. No humans are same. Look around you. I'm not talking about just your children. Look at your parents. Your mom and your dad would not be same. Look at your brother and sister. Not only your children, but look at your brother and sister. Look at your fellow um, co-workers, your jamaat. What do you see? Each human is unique with their own free will with their own free will when we think that one child is good and other child is not good or one brother is good and other brother is not good or so and so is good and so and so is not good that is our that is our judgment against them if you ask them they are both correct in their own place. Having said that, I understand, as the parents, sometimes we have a hard time watching and seeing our children not taking the path that we want them to take. So we have a two choice. This is the same choice that we talked about in Farman. We can criticize them 
or we can pray for them. I believe if you pray for them, regardless of their action, regardless of their habits, at the end, Mola will protect them and Mola will bring them and keep them on the right path. Because every child cannot be same as your five fingers are not the same. Because every human has their own mind, intellect, and on top of all of that, their free will. Yes, as a parent, it is our job to advise them, to console them, to keep them on the right path. By the end of the day, they will grow up. As you grew up and your brother and sister were not same, your children cannot be and will not be same. Pray for them. And we all pray for all the children of the Jamaat. As a combined, we should pray for children and mine and all the children in Jamaat that Mola keep them on Sirat al Musakim. Mola keep them on the way he wants them to move forward. Because Mola knows best and he will give them tawfiq, ta'id and he will give them thoughts and, and beliefs in their heart to do the right thing, inshallah. Trust Mola and ask him to look after your children. Thank you for asking. Uh, so we have two more questions in the chat. So the first one is, uh, I have asked for forgiveness for hurting someone and I have not uh, hurt that person internally uh, and that person forgives me but keeps on bringing it up all the time. So what is the question? So I believe the person is asking about that, uh, you know, the person forgives it but, uh, you know, it just keeps bringing up that... Uh, uh, that incident or whatever happened. Ji. Ji, I Okay. So, in Urdu, that if we ask someone to forgive him and he doesn't acknowledge it, then what do we do? And every time he You know, we are very weak. We are very weak human. Asking for forgiveness is our job and we should not delay if you hurt someone ask for forgiveness but when you asking for forgiveness you cannot force the other party the other person to come out and have a big open heart to forgive you but your job is to ask for forgiveness and there's there where it ends. If you are asking for forgiveness with the open heart, with a pure heart, your job is done. In the eyes of the Imam, you have done the right thing by asking for forgiveness. You cannot force the other person to forgive to forgive you and to acknowledge you and not to bring the subject up again because you don't control that person, do you? The person has his own free will. You just trust the Imam that he accepts your good deed of asking for forgiveness. Sometimes we feel like we should be 
in hurry to ask for forgiveness. We should be in hurry. And may Molak give them courage to accept your forgiveness. May Mola give them courage to accept your forgiveness. Because sometimes people are conjuice uh, kete hain Urdu ke andar. Bhoti conjuice hote hain maafi dene mein. Lekin we do not control them. They have their own free will. Keep praying, my brother or sister. Do the right thing and then leave rest to Mola Bapa. Ji. So, sir, we can take this last question and then we can end the session. Ji. Okay. So, the parent is asking, uh, when Mola made us, he put a drop of his noor in us. When we die, the same soul goes back to Mola. No doesn't commit any sins, but the body. So how does the soul elevate in ranks when in fact it is the body that commits good deeds or sins? Please uh, shed some light. जी मेरे ख्याल में ये सवाल भी किसी ने नाचीज की तरफ भेजा था. And this question was as in our class of Ru, Ibadat and Isme Azam. उस सेशन के अंदर ये सवाल पूछा गया था। If it's the same person asking the same question, okay, the soul does not commit sin because you use the word our soul is our noor of the Imam in us. But when we commit the sin in our physical life, in our worldly life when we commit those sin that collects accumulates jama hote hain hamari ruh ke upar aur wo hamari ruh ko ganda kar deti hai aur hamari ruh ke upar wazan dalti hai it makes our soul dirty and heavy that we are not able to fly away if you would like to read about this, read the Farman of Asul Adin of Imam Akar Sultan Muhammad Shah. May our soul be sacrificed to the Imam. It says it is your sin which keeps your soul from flying above and high. Ha, Hamari Ruke Upar, Hamare Gunao. Ka boj parta hai. The sin that we commit during our lifetime, it sits on top of our soul and makes our soul dirty. When you said that our soul is the noor of Imam, we need to be very careful, very, very careful. Even though you are not wrong, but at what level, at what level can we say our soul is Imam's Noor? At what level? Because if we do not understand that part, then our soul is ruasively, even though it is connected. With Imam soul, Ruhe Ulvi, and our intellect is Akle Garizi, and Imam's intellect is Akle Kulli. We cannot say our soul is Ruhe Ulvi, the Noor of Imam, until when? Until we are one with Him. Until then. Yes, it is a spark of the Imam's Noor but it is just a spark not a full-fledged fire you do not call spark a fire until it becomes a fire then it is a fire do you understand even though our soul and Imam's Noor is one 
But at what level? When? When we are one with Him. To be able to do that, what do we need to do? Remove the dust and remove the burden of the sin on our soul. If you still have same question again in the other session, I will be uh, ha more than happy to answer this in further detail, inshallah. Thank you, everybody. I think we should stop here. Both Nawazish, thank you, Kamra Sahib. Yali Madad, Yali Madad. I have a question, please. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yeah, um, um, uh, just to add to that person who said that uh, she asked for forgiveness and the person uh, keeps on uh, repeating it uh, every now and then that so deep down that other person has not forgiven but I have read somewhere that if you remember that particular person whom you have harmed or whom you have done uh, some ill things then you remember and you ask for forgiveness in your prayers then that prayer would help the other person to forgive you very fast. Okay, thank you for your comment. Is it true? Yes. I believe I said that already in my answer. Pray. Praying is the key. Pray for the other person to forgive yes. you. Like pray for the good thing for the other person and that, that, that person would forgive you eventually. It doesn't yeah. matter, uh, my sister. It does not matter if other person forgive you or not. You ask for forgiveness and then you pray. Yeah. You pray and you pray. Prayer are yeah. not for me and you. Prayers are blanket. That yeah. distinguish all the fire in you and the other person too. Okay. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for your comment. Yali Madad, everybody. Thank you, sir. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad.